Okay, good morning everybody out there, uh, all of those of you who watch KCC TV, and I uh, would like to thank Darcy Sullivan today for helping us talk about the 14th annual Christmas Day dinner to be held on Christmas Day at the Elks Lodge here in International Falls. And uh, we have here Karina McClellan from the Falls Hunger Coalition, Executive Director, and Lois Lundin, who is the new uh, organizer, co-coordinator this year to talk about what we're doing. So I guess we'll get right into it. First of all, I'd like to talk about why do we do this dinner and um, what, how did it get started? Well, it got started in 2006. A bunch of people in the community came together and one person said, I want to open up my business for a Christmas Day dinner and I want the churches to go out and make it happen. Well, that's when it started and here we are 14 years later. And so what we've been doing is having a dinner every year and the purpose is, is to raise, one purpose is to raise money for the Falls Hunger Coalition through donations that are made to the fiscal agent, the Falls Hunger Coalition, and through uh, free will offerings at the dinner. Now, <clears throat> we fed on average probably in the last five years around 600 people or more, mm -hmm. uh, either through takeout meals or through a sit-down dinner. And so <clears throat> that's really one of the main purposes. And Karina here can tell us about the mm -hmm. Falls Hunger Coalition and She's got some up-to-date information about it and and all that. So, Karina, tell us. Hi. Uh, the Falls Hunger Coalition um, is an organization that was put into place back in 1988. And our purpose is to serve low-income families who are food insecure in Kuchijing County. Uh, this Christmas dinner that has been hosted years now has been instrumental to our business. It's um, been able to provide a lot of meals and a lot of food for our families that visit us every month. Right now we currently serve about 200 families each month at the food shelf. We provide them with a five to seven day supply of food as well as vouchers that they can use at the grocery store to purchase produce and dairy. So far in 2019, we have given out 150,000 pounds of food wow. out in this community. We've added 88 brand new families to our food shelf this year, which is a significant number. Um, unfortunately, um, are there such a high need for our business, and we're always adding new people um, over at the food shelf. So all these fundraisers that happen throughout the year in the community is crucial for our business to help keep our doors open that we can continue to serve this community. Well, we have Lois Lundin here, and uh, Lois, I think you should tell us why you're involved in this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Lee. Um, I have been involved in various um, volunteer activities that sent, tend to center around food. I have a thing, I don't like people to be hungry, <laughs> so I like to help there. Um, last year, there was a call out. There was a need for help in the kitchen for this dinner, and so I wandered into the Elks, and I got pulled in, and I... I really enjoyed my time. Mm -hmm. um, cooking for a large group of people isn't as difficult as you think it would be, and it's a lot of fun. Lee talked about, and Karina's talked about, um, the benefit that goes to the food shelf from this event. But the other benefit that comes is in the community. There are a number of people in our community who either don't have a lot of social interaction or don't have family right here, and it provides an opportunity for people to gather and have that, that community socialization. So that's very important. It's really cool to watch all the people come together and the joy that comes into the room. Um, it just really, it's, it's a very warming, very endearing thing to see to me that not only are we meeting the needs for food on their tables that day, but the nourishment for their souls. So well, speaking good. of food, Lois, what are we going to eat? Oh, we have... <laughs> You're in charge of cooks and yeah, stuff. There will be three cooks in the kitchen three, taking heading up all of this. Um, I'm working with Cheryl Anderson and with Barb Plasky, um, and we have a lot of fun, but we are cooking ham and mashed potatoes and gravy, <clears throat> green beans, there will be coleslaw, and it's really good coleslaw, secret recipe, <laughs> and um, <laughs> dinner rolls and dessert. There will be coffee and other beverages served, um, and it, it's just going to be really good. Oh, that's great. Um, I just want to say something about the Elks. The Elks' motto is charity, justice, brotherly love, and fidelity. 
And I, I want to point out that the Elks is mm -hmm. volunteering to let us use this, their lodge, for this Christmas Day dinner. They do a tremendous amount of mm -hmm. things for this community based on their, their mission. And I, I want to give a big shout out to the Elks for helping us out. Mm -hmm. And there's no question about their uh, willingness to help. Yeah, they're amazing. Another thing I want to say is that <clears throat> we're going to need um, volunteers to help us. And right now uh, we're asking people to call in and sign up to volunteer. There are lots of jobs to do. Uh, we need people to serve food, we need people to bus tables, we need people to set the place up, we need pe people to deal with desserts, deal with coffee, deal with refreshments and work all those areas. We need people to take the place down and clean it up. And uh, we need people to drive meals, mm -hmm. and we need people to come and set up the meals that we're going to put out. Last year I think we put out almost 300 meals yes. that went out in styrofoam containers. Yeah. So um, that's, that's one thing you can do. And now I want to say, here's how you volunteer. There are two uh, sources of call-ins. One is to call 240-5125. That's a cell phone. 240-5125. The other way is through Raven, R-A-V-E-N, like the bird, you know. Rock, <laughs> rock. <laughs> and and uh, Raven, R A V E N L H G, at gmail.com. So Raven, L H G, at gmail.com. That's working really well. Um, I got an a, a email last night, and a person wanted to know what they could do. So that gives me a chance to tell them what's going on and uh, get back, and so I can then sign them up and, and have them uh, volunteer. And I know what we need and what slots we have, so that helps. Um, so those are those are really important numbers and an important email. Now, <clears throat> we have taken uh, sign-up forms around to the community, like Woodlands and Hampton Inn, Hampton Inn, I say <laughs> Hampton <laughs> Courts, <laughs> places like that. And uh, Dale Johnson, uh, one of the volunteers, has put those out there, and he's picking them up today. And then we'll take all these sign-ups and give them to mm -hmm. Joanne Dornecker and she does her magic mm -hmm. <laughs> and comes up mm -hmm. with lists and organizes those lists. So the day we have the dinner, she says, okay, here's what we have. We have 10 meals that need to go here. Somebody will go through the line and fill up all the styrofoam things and they'll put it all in a box and they'll find a person that's got a car and out the door they go. So we might take 40 to Woodlands, we might take 20 to the jail, we might take 10 to here, 10 to there, whatever the case may be. So we see we need all that. Altogether, I think we need around 80, 90 volunteers. Right. So. Another volunteer opportunity that we have, I got involved this year because I wanted to help Lee and I wanted to learn all the pieces that it takes to make this thing work, and there's a lot to it. It's very important to me, and it is to a lot of people in our community, that this dinner continue to be sustained. And in order to do that, we need continue we need to continue to bring people in to learn everything that it takes and how how to make this work and be successful every year. So, if you're interested in stepping up to help learn all the mechanics and want to take more of a leadership type role, whether it's um, at any capacity, please let us know because we need additional people to come in to, to make this continue to work. Let's say you don't have a way to get to the Elks and you want to come there. Can you do, can you get there? Yeah, because mm -hmm. you can call in to that number, 2405125, and say, I need a ride, and we'll have somebody come and pick you up and take you home. Yeah. So that's another thing. Let's say that you're not on a list somewhere to get some meals. Uh, but you want to get some meals because you can't get out of the house or whatever the case may be uh, and so on. So you call in. Call in to 240-5125 and we'll write that down and I'll slip a paper and we'll give it to the people in the kitchen and uh, they'll put it together and out the door. We're only going to do that though from 11 to 1230. Nothing after that. So if somebody wants to come to the dinner af uh, you know, after that 12:30. I think the sit-down dinner is from one to four, 
if they're there and they say, well, I've got my auntie or I got somebody I need that needs a meal, they can take a meal out there, but we're not going to deliver it. So I want to make that clear. And uh, if you can get there, I suggest you get there because it's fun to be there. And we're yeah, going to have music. Yes. We're going to have Jesse Lorian playing. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're going to have the strings playing. We're going to have uh, an opportunity to have, feel the spirit of Christmas, the true meaning of what Christmas mm -hmm. is all about. Right. And so, The delivery portion of this is very important. We have a lot of people at the food shelf that are shut-ins. Um, and so this service is really important. And we hear every year they're so grateful that there's people out to deliver these meals um, and get them out so they get a wonderful Christmas dinner. Yeah. yeah, they love it. I think there's probably been, well I know there are 10 cars, people with cars, and then the people in those cars and the people that are going to come and help put together the meals. We probably have probably 20, 30 people already that want to do that. Right, it's impressive. And I, I got a call last night, uh, can you, is this the Christmas deal? <laughs> I said, yeah, this is, but how may I help you? Well, <clears throat> we need this many meals and so on and so forth. Okay, so I took down their name and their address, how many meals they want. And then the last question I said is, how did you find out about this? And the person said, I was at the food shelf. <laughs> and I said, well, you say hi to Karina. <laughs> So that's good. Yeah, it is. And because around the community we've got little posters and things that are out there. So mm -hmm. if you see one of these, the numbers that we're talking about for call-in are there. So what about desserts, Lois? Oh, we always need help with dessert. There, there aren't very many people that don't have a sweet tooth in this town. <laughs> if you would like to contribute, if you'd like to volunteer but you just don't know quite how and or maybe your capacity is limited, we're also accepting um, pies, cakes, Cookies, bars, if you would like to contribute to the dessert table, um, that would be most appreciated. And you can bring your items to the Elks uh, the, day, the day of the event, or we can, uh, can I have them call the number and we can make arrangements with yep. me for a drop-off. There should be somebody there to... We'll be cooking the day before and the day of, yep. so there so will be people at the Elks. In the afternoon, right, on yes. the day before and so on. So that's, that's really good, and it's amazing how all of a sudden, whoosh, in comes pies. And, oh, that's wonderful. You know, what we really need, though, is we need a pan, a big pan of bars in the morning so that before we take these meals out, everybody gets some dessert yes. in one of those six-by-sixes. Six yep. Mm -hmm. We have a six-by-six six styrofoam and then the bigger ones. The meals go in the bigger ones and then the dessert. So, anyway. Yep. There's another thing that I think uh, is very important here. Um, <clears throat> We ask people in the community, businesses and so on, if they if they would contribute to the Christmas Day Dinner Fund. And how's that going? Oh, well, it's going very nice. Our mailbox has been very busy with donations coming through for the Christmas dinner. Um, and we're very grateful for, the, for all the donations coming through. And if somebody wanted to give some money to the Christmas Day Dinner Fund of the Falls Hunger Coalition, who would they write to? Well, you can make checks out to Falls Hunger Coalition, and our address is 1000 Fifth Street, International Falls. We're located in the basement of the Forest Land Building. And believe me, the money will go to good use. It sure does. It sure it does. It burns a hole in my pocket, so <laughs> and I spend it just as fast as it comes in. Um, one other thing I'd like to say, none of this would happen without like the Elks Lodge, and the businesses and the organizations mm -hmm. and the people who bring desserts, yes. the people like battalions who help us with takeout containers, the people like Coca-Cola, the people like City Drug that help us with things so we have sanitary conditions. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, their uh, coffee landing, mm -hmm. paper corp, um, Packing Corporation of America, sorry if I missed that up, and uh, people like that. Uh, business, local businesses and, and companies that, and i sorry if I miss anybody here, but without those people and the banks and the savings and loans and things mm -hmm. like that, this wouldn't happen. Mm -hmm. And so this community is amazing. And uh, we see it like in Ruby's Pantry, we're all involved in that. When people come to Ruby's Pantry, some of that money goes back. So they're giving to the community. Mm -hmm. And so that's a, this is the same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So it's wonderful to be part of that community of people who care 
and who care about doing what this is all about. So it's important. Mm -hmm. I think our, I'm mentioning to our two grocers in town, they both have stepped right. up and really provided not only food but service. Um, when we need to have certain things done with that food in preparation, they very graciously both have stepped up and said, yes, we're happy to help. Right. There's mm -hmm. no questions asked no. about that. No. Oh, it's amazing. Always. Always. And, uh, and uh, if you go there, say thank you for yes. supporting this program because I think we appreciate them very, very much. Mm -hmm. And they're never... They never say, they never say no, basically. They're grac gracious and grateful for what we, what we do, and we're grateful for them. We are.